about this one? Okay, well the ESCO steam oven is used pure steam system. So the oven is basically using a really dry um, steam when you're cooking. So at the end of the process, your oven isn't soaked with water. You don't have to cover your foods as much. You don't need to cover them with baking paper. Um, and the best part is you can go down to really low temperatures. So when you're going down and cooking steak, in here you can set it at 56 degrees and it'll come out at a perfect cook, um, perfect doneness all the way through the steak. So one degree increments? Per one degree increments on the steam setting, but also the temperature setting is at one degree variance as well. So if you set it at 180 degrees, it'll maintain that 180 degrees for the whole time you're cooking. And with some of our new cooking techniques like sous vide and other types of slow cooking, being able to hold that temperature means that whether we cook something for one hour, two hours, three hours, on that temperature with that steam, it'll never overcook, it'll never be too long. So it has a convenience of being a much more healthy and faster way to cook with steam. The moist air definitely penetrates whatever we're cooking at a much greater rate, giving us a much moisture and just a better all round cooking result. And Pete mentioned that it's a drier type of heat. I think a lot of people get a little bit scared off with steam or they maybe heard some bad stories about steam from people who haven't got the most out of it i think this is when people picture these ovens just for doing veggies or a piece of fish or steaming a chicken the reality is that with a combi steam oven we can go to that full steam level but almost everything we cook regardless of what it is is always better with a slightly larger amount of moisture in the oven cavity. Exactly, and that'll um, retain <coughs> the vitamins, the nutrients. Mm. Um, you don't lose the proteins out of the food doing it that way as well. Yeah, but as Pete says, you start the ovens where at the end of, or the older steam ovens, I think at the end of a cook, um, the water would be all over the glass, the bottom of the oven would be full of a lot of water, require a lot of sponging and cleaning. Correct. A lot of people probably close the door on that oven and open it a week or two later, and I guarantee it probably smelled worse than the dog's kennel. Uh, and so over time, you know, people have either really embraced it or kind of gone away from it. Now I think there's so many different types of moisture addition systems available through your products and through some others um, that it would be really uh, it's almost senseless not to have some sort of uh, facility for steam in your oven. Exactly. And ASCO are able to do it with a great product pedigree um, and introductory uh, model for them. But at 3999, this is at least a thousand dollars cheaper than the other than any other combi steamer we have in here, and it's also a full size. Many of the combi steam ranges we see. I haven't quite unpacked that one yet from ASCO and other ranges are in a compact format. But in this one we have got a full size cavity and the ability to either half steam, full steam, combi steam, not steam, low temperature steam, total versatility in one oven. It's a great solution for someone who's replacing or building a kitchen where they only want one cooking device. That's right. And the addition to that as well is that you have the preset programs. So if you don't know what you're doing with cooking, you can just go into roast chicken, Tell it the size, hit start, and the oven will do all the work for you as well. Exactly what you can do. I mean, that's about enough for us. People are standing pretty bored soon. <laughs> but uh, come on in and have a look at the ASCO range. Great company to deal with. Beautiful product. And we've got it all on display here at Torrensville and Campbelltown.